all right? So once it hits 50 degrees, it has a monitoring system to know to kick up the fan to 40%, all right? And if you see, unfortunately, this thing keeps popping up. When we get up to um, 55 Celsius, I have it set at 45 fan, and then I got really quick hitters, 50% at 60, then I got at um, 60% at 65, and then I got 60 fan for 70 Celsius, and then I got a fast one. I got it at 70 fan for when it gets to 75. I think it's 75, they say. Let me click it just to show you. Oh, 73. Oh, yeah, it's actually 69 at the moment. But if you see, when I clicked it, it popped up what it's at. Now, you could drag this. All right, so it's 69.73. I'm moving it. Well, it's actually created a new box like I'm trying to explain to you. And to delete it, just push delete. All right, and it removes it. So pretty much right now, it's set up as, in there is 69 fan, okay, and 70 Celsius on the card. All right, so pretty much you just, it's like a crossword puzzle. Whatever you have it is, just look down and look left. So if you, I know it may look a little confusing, you guys, I'm sure it's very easy for you guys, but that's it. So that's how you set it up. You could add more, like I said, if I click right here, you'll add a new box and a new temperature gauge. And that's how you do it. If you do this, because like I said, the fans really on the auto cap out about 50, maybe 55. Um, when the cards start getting hot, on an average gaming session, now my cards, you know, when it kicks here, you're not going to go above it. That's it. The fan, I'm telling you, on even a long gaming session, it'll stay at 70. Now, like I said, guys, it's all personal preference. Um, I just played around with it a little bit. You could add, you can go more extreme, you can go less extreme. You could add more fan things, and that's the important thing. When you're done, okay, hit OK. This is the important thing, okay? you got to apply it. Now watch. If you shut it off auto, okay, I'm going to put it on auto and apply that'll activate it okay that's very important you do that all right so now what I want you to understand is now you look at auto and you say to yourself okay you have it on auto that means that the computer is going to decide it so you know what you just did didn't help you but let me show you how that works but the fan curve again which pops up the fan if you see here let me move it over it says enable software automatic fan control so what that does is by you checking that box okay and force fan speed update on each period I check off both okay what that does is this overrides the regular order that the computer would decide so now what I've decided these intervals that I want the fan to kick on at certain temperatures overrides the automatic if you didn't do any of this so that's the important you gotta check in the fan setting okay enable software automatic fan control alright and that will override it and force fan speed updates uh, if you leave it over, it'll explain it to um, It says, by default, fan speed is being altered by automatic software control module. It explains it, but I force it just to make sure that it does kick in. I don't want any kind of um, glitch or anything, and your, you know, your video card goes toast-toast. We don't want that. So, uh, very important, put enable software automatic fan control. Set up your settings. If you guys have questions about it, you can email me, and uh, I'll be more than happy to help you. Um, you could do also searches on your own and you'll see. I don't like my cards to be, that's why I got rid of the super clock. These, these uh, for the win editions, have a better cooling system. Does it mean anything? You know, I just like that I could punish them more uh, with the fan control is how I want it. And I think, you know, they're going to outlast the uh, super clock. They should. Doesn't mean they're going to, but they should. And that's the important thing. All right. So you're just going to hit OK. And that means you're done. All right, and that's it. The card's hanging out at 36 Celsius. So when I start gaming, like I said, when it's, you know the temperature starts rising, my fan, because here it is again, fan curve, enable software, because of my um, the way I put it in, it'll kick up according to each temperature. So it's got a monitoring system that I'm overriding the regular automatic that comes with it, which highly recommend you do because I'm telling you right now, these cards... Um, I forgot to do it right away, and I played, and I was in the 80s. I mean, as a matter of fact, I had, I think I set the alarm up, but I didn't do the fan settings yet, and the actual cards were in the 80 already. It's just one card, don't forget, too. And I got a ton of air in my case, and it just gets hot, man. You know, you're pushing resolution, you max everything out, and you're going you're gonna to see the results of that. So very important, just to let you know, that's what I do for that. Um, everything else, you know, like I said, on the monitoring, you click it, 
uh, your duration, like I said, you, you could change it. On-screen display is all different settings you want. Screen capture, if you want to do screen capture and you push a button, it'll do it. There's more intense things. I stay away from all the rest of it. To me, the important thing of Precision X is for overclocking. Okay, how to overclock it. Like, again, power target. This is your GPU core. The more you put it up, the more it's going to push up the card and push up the temperatures. All right, and your memory. Um, and that's it. It says Windows Startup. You check there if you want it, obviously, to apply immediately. And if you see on the left, it says GTX 671. When you get your second card, it's going to show it there. And then important thing, this says Sync is on. That means when you have two cards running and you sync it, whatever your fan curve is or any setting you did will automatically go towards the second card too. So both cards would sync, meaning run as one, and you will... Um, adjust accordingly. Now usually what I do is if you don't want to sync it when you have two cards because what happens is when you run Sly and especially with my motherboard the two cards are really close together. I mean it's like really close. So what I usually do is I actually unsync it for me because they're so close. Now it's up to you guys. It doesn't mean you have to. And I increase the fan speed about 5% more on the top card because that's the card that can't breathe as much. All right, because the bottom card gets all the air at once. The top doesn't. It's got to suck the air. It's always going to run 5 to 7 to almost 10 degrees warmer, especially after gaming session, than the bottom card. So I usually will increase the fan speed on the top card more so it could breathe better. So, But if you don't want to, it's not a big deal. As long as you put the fan speed at a really good setting, um, you'll be fine. But I, you, that's how you sync it, okay? That's what you'll do, and you do it. And there's your performance log. Um, that's different things you want to look at. Monitoring, that's like that's what I'm doing here. Like I showed you, that's how you set your settings. So that's really it in a nutshell. That's Precision X. Um, check for updates. It's important. Uh, this is the most current one, 3.02. And that's all for the uh, for this little thing. So I want to help you guys out. I get, you know, some things we take for granted that we know and other people don't. And that's it. So hope this helps you guys. And um, I'll see you soon.